Welcome to another episode of The Doll Diaries. Now I'm going to do two unboxings today, plus show you a couple of things I find in my loft that are from my childhood. So the one unboxing is going to be this. Now this is a thing that I received when I was doing the truck video in my hallway and I couldn't get the sticker off and that's as good as it is basically I couldn't save it I was a little bit annoyed because there's a big empty space on the back it could have gone and you know the seller put it on the front and ruined the box and I wanted to keep it because because I'm a sewer you know it means something to me and I'd seen this in the Mattel store in America basically when I was watching a video and they had a whole end of an aisle full of these. And I didn't know that these came in a box like this until I saw that video. So I was so excited to get one of my own. And mine is ruined. So I was in two minds whether to send it back and ask for another. But I didn't know if I could return on those grounds for packaging. And I didn't know if they did the same to it. So that's, that's that. So I'm going to be opening this and there is a doll in this one. I've had a Barbie sewing machine before, but there was no doll. But the reason I didn't go for this one in the first place is because I thought this one was too much money, but this one came right down. It's crazy sometimes. Prices really fluctuate with dolls. So I try and strike when the price is good. And this is the other thing. Now, do you remember me saying in one of my videos that I uh, had bought something in the Amazon Prime um, day? Because so basically, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get a day where loads of things are like much cheaper than normal. So this is what I ordered. Ta -da! And it's basically a wardrobe, the Barbie wardrobe with a doll and clothes. Now I have already got a Barbie wardrobe, but in all honesty, it's not big enough. And these store really well, even though it's a big hefty box, this is going to store when it's all out really, really well. So yeah, I'm not too worried about the space it's going to take. So what shall I get out of this? So we'll go, um, what we'll do, we'll get, get these out and then I'll show you what I found in my loft from my childhood. So this opens nice and easy. And that's what it's looking like on the inside. Now you've seen one of these sewing machines before. Um, I've got exactly the same one, but it's a different colour. So the uh, it's come out like this actually, the sewing machine's upside down. But the sewing machine of this is pink, which is fab. I didn't actually know the sewing machine comes out of here. Now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, is it the same as my other one? I'm, do I'm doubting myself now. So that, what, that's what it looks like with the artwork and things. So it looks good, doesn't it? I'm just wondering how different it is to my other one. I'll have to do a photo comparison, won't I? I'll pop that there so you can still see it in shot. I've got a purple chair. Now my chair with my other one is a pink one, but it's exactly the same chair. I'll just flip that foot pedal. Actually, the foot pedal um, says Barbie embossed on there. It comes with a pink dress form uh, and the other one, it came with a blue one. Whole bag of goodies. My children are being super quiet for me so I can do this video because it's the summer holidays. Ah, oh, so this is beautiful. It's a dress and it looks, it almost looks like it's got buttons, but actually, I thought they were buttons, but they actually look more like roses. And it's, I'm just trying to think what kind of material it is. They, yeah, they use quite an unusual material for Barbie clothes. It's not something I use in dressmaking on some of them that I find. There's a piece of fabric. A little design card. I'll just show it you. If you, how well can you see that? It's a bit blurry, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I recognise one of those dresses from um, a, I've seen on a Barbie doll. I think with this, you're supposed to hang it from one of the hooks. Now, my experience with my other one 
that's what happened with my other one. It, it kind of tears it when you put it on there, but you can do it. It comes with a pair of shoes, which my other one didn't come. My other one didn't come with a dress or shoes, but it did come with fabric. It comes with um, sunglasses. I'll take photographs of these accessories uh, and I'll put them on the screen a bit later. And a necklace. No doubt I'll do a video at the end showing them. A little clutch. Well, I say a clutch, but it has got a handle on it and a spool of thread, which those will go on the top of here. Now my other machine has actually got more than it should have had should have had on it because I am um, I had the Chelsea size um sewing machine as well and that came with the same spools so I added them to my sewing machine. So I've opened the next compartment and this comes with a wrist pin cushion which my other one did it came with a red one. This comes with a pair of orange trousers. As I say, my other one didn't come with any clothes. Another piece of fabric. So that's two we've got with this so far. I think I had three in total with my other one. Another pair of sunglasses, which, as I say, I didn't get any clothing with my other one. All handbags. Another handbag, another necklace. Another spool of thread, this one's yellow, so we've got a purple and a yellow. A plant pot, which will sit in the hole on the desk. I can't remember if I got a plant pot with the other one. And a pair of black boots. Now I'm really happy to get these black boots because I haven't got any Barbie black boots. I don't know if they're for a flat-footed Barbie or a Barbie with a feet that are at an angle. Now we've got one more compartment. We have two coat hangers, which is the same as the other one. I think they were pink. These are like a bit of like an aqua blue kind of colour. Now, what how you hang these is there's a little arm that comes out. Ooh. And you hang them like that. Another clutch bag, a pair of flat yellow sandals, a pair of silver or grey slip-on pumps. There is a slight um, embellished look about them on the top. A pair of scissors, which I did get with the other sewing machine. Ah, yes another piece of fabric so you get three pieces of fabric with this they're not really big enough to make anything with i don't think really well somebody could you know might do and an off the shoulder stripey top and now for the barbie there's a tape measure in here i think that was meant to be around her neck on my other one the uh the tape measure is going around the dress form like this some, something like this and i've left it on there i've never taken it off there but, and this is barbie now what i like about this barbie she's got an updo on top of her head now barbie in the tv sometimes wears a hair like this but the other barbie that i use that i've got like this i use for barbie's mum now i might basically do a bit of a comparison and if the hair on this one is darker, I might change this one to Barbie's mum, maybe. And maybe use um, that one for Barbie. I don't know. But yeah, I'm thinking of maybe making this doll more articulated because of, um, because of a different kind of hairstyle. And she's got earrings. So she might be well worth it, mightn't she? And this basically is an all-in-one. It looks like a skirt and vest but it's actually one piece with velcro at the back she's got actually got 2013 on her head and 2015 on her body i don't know if that's when they were designed that's what the date is all about and it's got that weird pucker do you know it's the sewer in me that um nitpicks a little bit <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so we'll pop Barbie there. Yeah, she's lovely, isn't she? Now, I'm, I don't know whether to move things out the way, actually. So I can get the other thing out. I'm actually really delighted with that set. Um, it's ended up being a lot better than I imagined, actually. She might pop that little pink cushion on Barbie. She would pop a little necklace on as well. <laughs> I love it. I love it more than the other one. I like the colours much more. But it's good actually that you can um you can buy the one without the doll. So it just you know it's a bit cheaper if you want a sewing machine but you don't want a doll. So here we go, the big box. This I don't know what it's got. It's called the Dream Closet. Now there's different closets of Barbies. There's the most basic one I've got. It's about twenty pound. Just opens up. You've seen it in my videos, like little probably in my last video actually. And there's ones that have got like loft extensions and all sorts. This doesn't have a loft extension, but it does have a bit that sticks out the front. But I'll get it out for you to see. But I'll I'll show you the box actually. It comes with lots of accessories. Twenty does that say twenty five? I'm reading it mirror image to you. This is the back of the box. I think those are the different looks that Barbie's going to have from this wardrobe. And that's the front. But I'm gonna get it all out now. So I think I'll attempt getting the wardrobe out first and then the doll and the accessories. So I've got somewhere to put them. This is going to be great storage and good for my little fashion studio. I'm going to show you a sneaky peek. The Barbie logo. Right, I'm really pleased with this actually. I think this will fit in my Calax quite nicely. It does look bigger than my other closet. That's the actual doll I used for my hairdresser, my hairdresser Paula. But she's up, that's when she's on the curvy body. But I swapped and I gave her the a slimmer body. I gave her one of Brooklyn's old bodies that I didn't need because I'd made her articulated. I think this, this Barbie, and what's her hair like? This Barbie looks more like the Barbie that I've just showed you this one. Doesn't she the hair up? I think that's a fashion Easter actually. And there's another doll here, a girl with pigtails. Actually, I saw that doll being used on YouTube and she's actually got a name. So Gina, if you're watching, um, some of the fashion Easter's have got names on YouTube. I've discovered a few actually. So to open it, it's got a carry handle as well, look. And to open it, it's got Barbie in front and lift, lift it. It will swing around. I think something's going to drop out. Yeah, some accessories. So on opening, this is what we're looking at. So this is this side. Got a mirror. that opens at the bottom there and I think that is for the doll to stand on it's a doll stand and this swings out ah yes Ooh. oh it will actually swing to the other side as well but it will swing out and sit in the middle angle this you can have it fully open like that or you could have it half open like this or the other side as well and just see if this opens yeah this opens as well I don't know what you meant to keep in there 
It looks like a radiator, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but there's some nice pictures on there. Yeah, we'll start putting things in it. Okay, it comes with a yellow chair. I'm going to keep looking at the box so I can ref see where things are supposed to go. I've got lots of coat hangers. By the look of it, they hook some of them in here like this. I'm going to lift it up for you to see. Can you see those there? They're hanging on these little loops and this, this spins around. There's actually a bit on the top and you can make it uh, go around like that. Oh, one fell off. <laughs> I'd love a wardrobe like this myself, actually. Open the next section. There's a pair of shoes that looks a bit like Crocs, beige looking croc looking things. On the picture, they've put them underneath this. There's a blue section on the bottom, they've put them underneath. It's probably easier to show you the box actually. Put them there. They've put the brush here. The laptop on here, so they have this as a bit of a desk. What's quite nice is they've got the figure skating trophy there. I think they've put the handbag in that drop down section on this side. Oh, it's got a picture of shoes in there, but that's where they've put the bag. Now, I don't, these are stickers. So what you're supposed to do with these stickers is you put them all over the cork board. But I'm not going to do that now. Uh, I think I'd rather think about it than do it under, under pressure in a video. Now it's time to get the next bit out. If you've been looking at my recent Instagram pictures, you'd have seen I've been making um, a Harry Potter slash Barbie coffee shop display. And that's foldable as well. And I am going to be bringing a video of me working on it so hopefully you can get the gist of how I made it. This is exciting bit. Now something has fallen out, I think it's a watch so I'll just put that there a moment. Barbie's got those things in her head. I'll get those out later and she's got elastic around her. Her dress is so pretty and she's got a necklace on. She's got these lovely black high heeled shoes. They're platforms with an ankle bit and a bow on the front. And she's got lovely long blonde hair. Down to her bottom actually. It needs a bit of styling and obviously she's got these things in the back of her head that I need to remove. But I'll put her on the doll stand anyway. And actually, she can do a swirl. Woo, Barbie. <laughs> There's a purple top in here. Now, this looks a little bit like Barbie's mum, doesn't it? Hang that up. A flowery skirt with elastic waistband. Now, I'm trying to see how they hung this up, but actually in the picture, Barbie's wearing it. That doesn't help, does it? Shall we do the same? Right, there she is in that outfit. That's what she looks like on the box. I think that might fall off quite easily, but you can secure them with elastic that come off the dolls when you unpackage them. Barbie's got a wetsuit. Oh, I've took this jacket out 
and it's actually a jacket and a dress. I'll hang them together as they were. I don't know what, um, actually in the picture they've got used another doll and she's actually wearing that stripy dress. Without the jacket may I add. The jacket's just hanging on the hanger. I think it's meant to be a doctor's outfit because it's got a stethoscope and they've actually hung this round the jacket actually. Like that. <laughs> She's actually got some flippers to go snorkeling. And there's a little bit of a sporting area where there's a picture of a tennis racket and boots and they've placed those down there. I'll show you on the picture. See here? That's where they've put them. And see that's the Barbie in the yellow dress. I can't actually get that Barbie. That one in that picture I've tried. Well I can but I'd have to get it from overseas and I'll pay more for it. Got some yellow platform shoes. Which the other doll is wearing with the yellow dress. Got a snorkel. Which they put on the shelf. Yeah. Now I'm guessing this is something Barbie has found in the sea and on the picture she's keeping it on her desk. Now what do you call that thing that you put in your ear and the, the doctor looks down your ears? Got one of those. So it's definitely a doctor's coat, isn't it? Now on the picture, they've put that on the top shelf on this side. And the final thing is a pair of sunglasses, which in the picture is on Barbie's head. Like that. <laughs> and that is everything actually that was in it. Now I could add some extra bits, couldn't I? From the other kit. I don't think that will go on a coat hanger all that well really would it not without some elastics i'll just i'll pop that on the shelf trousers as well yeah they're not the best thing for those kind of hangers now i have got places i keep things like jewelry and sunglasses and things all in one place so they're very safe so i'll probably do that with some of these we'll put the watch on Barbie. Oh, the shoes have come off because I've pulled her out. Now I've got quite a few yoga Barbies that are in their yoga clothes so it'd be quite nice to actually dress them up wouldn't it in some, some clothes so they're not always in yoga clothes. So right, I'm going to attempt closing this with everything in it and see what it's like. I'll put, put the chair under there. Let's see if it will close with Barbie in it. Yes, basically everything. I've put the chair underneath the clothes rail and left everything else where it was. I just closed the hatch and it's all packed away. So that would be a lovely thing if um, you were going, so maybe not abroad, but um, it depends how much room you've got in your suitcase, I suppose. But if you're going on a, you know, a holiday in your own country, you could take that with you and you could take a number of clothes and accessories and things, just a few things, couldn't you? And, and a doll with you, which is really nice, and somewhere to photograph them. So I hope you like seeing those. Now I'm going to show you what I found in my loft. Now, I found a part of my Cindy kitchen in the loft. Now I've cleaned it, 
and uh, this is the oven uh, this was from the 1980s or early 90s I'm not sure and the hob and it has got a drawer the stickers are hanging off a little bit this is a freezer and this had a freezer door but I remember that used to come off quite a bit and on the other side this had a bit of a counter here so I don't know if that's still in my loft or if it's broken I'm not sure but um but yeah but there's got some stickers on it that are peeling off but I intend on sticking them back down and uh yeah there's a calendar on there and some um exercises yeah and just yeah it's fun isn't it so and I've got some bits now this is a Christmas card box and look how old and tatty it is. It's a super drug stores. Artwork by Christine the Waits. Da -da. These are all things for this kitchen. So I've not looked in this yet. I, this is like, you know, for me to see with you. So I've got a microwave and there was some, a knife and three spoons inside of it. Oh, this ding. And the plate goes round. I'm guessing that went there actually, from what I remember. A toaster that actually pops a jug for squash Th these are this is all coming back to me my memories a tray i've no idea what that is <laughs> oh my goodness i've got a coca-cola can a dessert bowl a straw, a part of a kettle, there's no lid or anything on it, but maybe it's in here. A plant pot with a plant, which I think has got nothing to do with this kitchen. Another dessert bowl. It's crazy, all the memories coming back to me. A lemon citron, it says, can. A plug for something. That's for the kettle. It plugs in the back and it actually plugs into the wall. It's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> that looks like a perfume bottle, so it might not have been for this. A princess crown. I think that's Cindy's. Another tray. I think actually I used to have oh, dropping it, the kettle and the toaster on it from what I can remember. I have found four big plates. I'll put them in the dishwasher. Another plug. It's not for the toaster. I found the lid for the kettle. It's yellow. <laughs> I have found four pink bowls. They're like pasta bowls. And saucepans with lids. So two saucepans with lids. A frying pan and a milk pan. A doll necklace which you hook together at the back like that. Looks like a sugar pot. Four egg cups, a milk jug, a carton of milk. Not sure what that is. Four serviettes with napkin rings. Four small plates. A burger box. St. Clair on it. <laughs> this looks like Paddington Bear's hat, don't you think? 
This is obviously not for this kitchen. Another can, it looks like a lemon one, like the last one I showed you. This looks like a fruit bowl. What do you think? A pink cup and saucer, an orange juice, <laughs> a hairdryer, obviously not for this. A pen, that's from another set. That's from my foldable Cindy house, which I can't find. Hopefully I'll find it someday. A ketchup. <laughs> a bottle of wine. But they even put a bottle of wine in a children's toy these days. An ice cube tray. It goes in the freezer. There's a freezer drawer in this. A ladle, which I remember it hangs. Can you see that from here? Hang it off there like that. I remember that much. Four little mugs with hearts on. I think some of these went round the other side. Because basically this had a counter that you could eat at, you see, with two stalls. I'll pop the mugs up here. There's a can of minestrone soup. Now there's some little baby bottles in here, but I think these might have been from Sylvanian families because I had those as well. Got those there. Actually, I'll put them on the floor because they're probably going to roll up. Right, I've got some tall glasses and I remember those hung here. Another cup and saucer. So they can get definitely two people could have tea and coffee together. Another can of Coke. I think I used to keep the egg cups up here as well, actually. I don't really know what that is. <laughs> so we've got two unrecognised items so far. That, which looks like it's off something else. A flower, which I think is might be Lego. It might be a Lego flower. Another minestrone soup. There's another sticker here which looks like it's off a wine bottle, but the wine bottle isn't in here. And two straws, three more little spoons, two more big soup spoons, three knives, and two more forks to add, and another thing for dangling. Oh, another fork here. I'm going to be getting all these things back out because it all needs sticking down again the stickers but it's good a little bit of fun for now there is a safety pin in here a bit random maybe it was my shoddy sewing at the time because i wasn't very good at sewing I used to try they used to sew their clothes back together but they used to come back undone and this is a little plate. I think, again, this is Sylvanian families, but maybe I was using it for this to play with at the time. And I think this is the lid ceramic as well. That was ceramic, by the way. I think that's Sylvanian families. Now, there's five more things. And it sounds like this, I've put things inside. There's a cereal box. That sounds empty. Daz for washing. It says fun erasers. Oh, there's actually... The rubbers are still in there. I thought I'd put things in them when I felt there was things in. Oh wow, look. It looks like a t-shirt. The rubber eraser inside. <laughs> As if those are still in there all these years later. I think it was definitely 80s. Tide. It's again, it's a washing stuff. I don't remember Tide, but I suppose I wasn't washing clothes when I was a child. It's the same rubber inside, I can see. Aerial. I definitely know Aerial. Yeah, that's got the same rubber. And Fairy Snow. A look inside yeah 
they've all got a rubber razor inside so those are a lot of fun, fun aren't they so i hope you've liked seeing my some of my childhood memories i have posted a picture of some modern day skipper dolls with blonde hair because when i was a child my my absolute favorite doll was skipper doll because i found her the most relatable to myself i pretended it was me and i had little brothers and sisters which were actual flower fairy dolls and a pixie doll and the pixie was smaller than the flower fairies but i used to swap the heads i used to head swap basically when i was a child swap the head from one of the big fairies with the pixie so i had a big girl and a little girl and the, then the boy was older than he would have been and then i had a little doll i think he might have been called todd which he was a barbie brand doll he was a toddler and he used to pretend those were my brothers and sisters and um, maybe it was a bit of a dream because i was an only child and i was wanted you know brothers and sisters to follow after me so it was kind of my little make-believe family that i had so uh, yes yeah, so i hope you've enjoyed seeing my unboxings and a bit into my childhood my childhood memories so thank you so much for joining me today i oh um, i will leave you with a video of things and thank you so much for joining me today Bye.